Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing another TV tip slash freshman questions that some of you might have. This video could also be for sophomores like as well as them transferring from the UC into living into the phases or like even the view, the square, like on campus housing. I just have like a few tips that could help you in the long run. So if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and also leave me a comment, a like. Don't forget to share this video with any with any incoming freshman or sophomore that you know going to PB. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. So I've done um, two of these videos and I got a lot of good feedback about it. And um, as time go on, I've been in one of these PV group chats and they had like stuff that they wish they would have knew as a freshman and like tips and stuff. And then like as my year has ended, I've came across some things that I thought would be helpful. So yeah, I got my little list right here. Y'all can't see that. I got a little list on my phone of like tips and everything. And if I repeated some of the stuff that I've already mentioned in one of my other freshman tips, sorry, them things is like at least 10 or 15 minutes long. So I didn't rewatch them when I made this new list. This is just some new stuff that I've came up with. So if I repeated anything, I'm sorry. So the first thing on my list I have is you're grown and the transition from being in your parents house or living with somebody else to being on your own like some people have a hard time adjusting to that in college you're grown and nobody tells you what to do so if you want to skip class you can skip class if you want to be out till five o'clock in the morning chilling with your little boo thing you can do that because ain't nobody going to tell you what to do. you really on your own. So you just have to learn to adjust to that and don't just go crazy. You got to remember the main reason why you're there. So don't get distracted easily and you have to learn how to be grown and how to your business. I remember I used to hate when I like had to do stuff like go to financial aid office or something. I'm like, I wish my mama could just do it for me. But I had to grow out of that and learn that I'm grown. So I have to start doing stuff on my own. I also had to um, find time to like call family members because I live like near the Dallas area. So being three hours away from home, you have to find time to make time to talk to your parents or family members because you know when you're in college everybody be like oh my gosh i haven't talked to you in forever i haven't seen you in forever so you got to find time to talk to your family members and it's just important to make sure you call your parents or your guardians like whoever watch over you just so they know like you're doing good and just let them know you're doing good and if stuff go wrong or whatever just keep in contact with your family so this one is something that happens on twitter a lot y'all if you want to pledge do not talk about it do not post on twitter you want to be an ak because it does not look good if you want to pledge keep that to yourself because you could get blacklisted or whatever and i've seen some incoming freshmen tweet that this is what they want to be and like Twitter clowns them. So if you want to pledge, do not go blasting that all over social media. Keep that to yourself. Do not do that, okay? Because it has happened to some people and they didn't know. So I'm warning y'all now. I'm telling you, I'm helping you out now. Do not post that on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I'm going to talk about housing. So some of y'all might not know, you get room checked. When you live in the UC, they do room checks weekly, like to make sure ain't nobody in your room or you keep your room clean because at the UC, well, really all housing, you have visiting hours. So like during those, like when visiting hours are over, they will room check you. And don't think just because you lock the door that they will not bust in. You can be booty butt naked and they gonna walk in that door still. <laughs> so don't think that just cause you locked your door, you're safe because you definitely not. So don't be calling people past visiting hours. And then you also have to sign everybody in at the UC. So 
just keep that in mind and I'm I don't know if I mentioned this in one of my other videos but when I was a freshman you could not have same sex in your room throughout the weekdays only on the weekends but you can have same sex people in your room throughout the weekdays I think it was like 11 to 11 but all of that might have changed because I'm not a freshman anymore but that's how it was for me and then they take away visiting hours doing homecoming midterms finals spring fest like um thanksgiving any anything you name it your visitation being taken away so that's a little fy to y'all because i know some of y'all be like girl i'm going to pv so during homecoming you can come stay with me no they take away visitation so yeah even at the phases and all other places they take away visitation like at the phases they be having security guards at the gates taking like with the list of names and making sure your name is on the list to see if you live there so you can't let people stay with you during homecoming if you do like that's low-key risky because like i said they do room checks pretty often pretty often now yeah i'm just letting y'all know they do room checks and you can get fined for not having your room clean they will tell you if you got too much trash on the floor like yes you get room checked and then they do come in there they can come in there at two o'clock in the morning if they want to and do a room check and if you get caught with somebody in your room you popped because that's the 150 dollar fine so yeah another thing is you do not have to bring your whole room to college that was i low-key did that at first i brought all my winter stuff the first my freshman year and i realized throughout the year that i did not need a whole bunch of them jackets because at pv it was super hot i did not need majority of all them jackets i bought so i had to learn that i don't have to bring my whole room from home if you can avoid bringing too many clothes and stuff you know you're not gonna wear like big old winter jackets you probably not gonna need them and if you do you can always bring that stuff from home when it starts being cold i know freshman year we really didn't have any cold days it was a few days but it wasn't a, like a lot lot and i know this year we had more cold days than we had hot days but i still learned to not pack everything that i need and also when we have winter break when you go home for december and stuff take home your valuable things like do not leave your tv at home because if you live in the faces they break into people's houses like easily a lot of tvs be coming up missing and people supposedly be breaking in tvs always come up missing during winter break so when you go on winter break take your most valuable things home and do not leave them at PV because you might come back to PV without a TV and you gonna be mad if you spend money on your TV. So take home your valuable things during the winter break. Now the next thing is choosing your roommates wisely. I talked about um, Please Don't Snore in my last video. If you wanna check that out, I have the link in the description bar. But I talked about Please Don't Snore last um, video and I talked about picking a roommate. I want to let y'all know pick y'all roommates very wisely because roommates be dirty <laughs> like they be dirty i was just talking about this with somebody else i don't know why but when i lived with four people i was literally like the only person who cleaned out the microwave who cleaned out the refrigerator or the freezer like my roommates would buy food and not even cook it to like six months later so somebody who you know gonna be clean and then not saying i was perfect or nothing but some people would leave dishes in the sink for like two weeks somebody even marinated chicken for like three months and i was like so you're not gonna get that but the only person who cleaned up the ice box who cleaned out the freezer in the microwave i remember when I was cleaning out the microwave, I mean the icebox, it was like milk that was in there from three months ago. Like, they leave stuff in the icebox. And then, when I live with um, these four people, like, your room is like, have two people on this side, two people on this side, and the living room and the kitchen in the middle. Me and my other roommate on this side were literally like the only people who would take out the trash. And it was so annoying because trash would build up and no one would take it out. So, if I was you and you live with four people, don't keep a trash can in the living room because because you're going to have some roommates who want to add on to your trash but not take it out. So it just gets really annoying. And then it's nasty because the house starts smelling like dead fish. 
because nobody want to take out the trash. So just make sure you keep your own little trash can in your own room and you just make sure you clean up after yourself so you don't have to deal with none of that because you might not be lucky and get a clean roommate because some of them is nasty. And then my roommate who I had to share a bathroom with, the bathroom was always nasty. Like it was honestly embarrassing to even have company over sometimes because the bathroom was always just so nasty. Like she would leave gel in the sink all her makeup like powder would be everywhere her hair would be everywhere when she brushed her hair the weave the um weave that shed would be in the sink and it was just nasty like if you gotta share a bathroom with somebody the kitchen living room don't be nasty it's just it you have to share with somebody else so do not be nasty like be like learn how to clean up after yourself I know some of y'all mom and daddies taught y'all how to clean up. So just clean up after yourself because nobody wants a dirty roommate. And nobody wants to confront you about having to clean up or clean up your mess. Because we all too grown to be having to clean up after other people at the end of the day. So just simple. Clean up your mess and keep it moving. Sometimes you just got to talk to your roommates about them cleaning up their mess too. And then another thing I had to deal with when I was sharing with four people was the air condition. Now, if you if you know me, I hate being hot. Like I have to, I'd rather be cold than be hot because if you cold, you can easily get a blanket and be warm. If you hot, you can't get no blanket and be cold. So don't let your roommates try to punk you out of changing the air condition because I remember I used to keep it on cold. Like when it was 73 degrees in the house, that was hot and humid in our house. And then my room had all the light shining in so it was always a different temperature in my room so I would cut the air down and then one of my roommates gonna text me talking about please make sure you don't cut the air down blah 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 this runs up our electricity bill and I was like girl just like y'all get hot I mean just like y'all get cold I get hot so don't let them try to punk you out of changing the air condition because at the end of the day y'all all pay to live there so you have the right to change the air condition too and i'm saying this if you live in the uc in the phases so don't let your roommate try to punk you out of being too cold or too hot now i get if it's like 50 degrees i, I mean i get if it's like 80 degrees outside and you have to heat on like you evil you ain't got to do that but you know just like don't let them try to make you feel bad for training the air condition but then also be considerate sometimes too so if your roommate preference on um, please do not snore got they like it hot and you got you like it cold, you need to pick another roommate because that would be a big factor. Another thing I want to talk about is keeping your business to yourself. Y'all, I cannot stress this enough. Keep your business to yourself because not everybody has your best heart and interest. And then also roommates switch up. So I don't think just because your roommate and you're cool that y'all got to be like the best of friends because every anybody could easily switch up especially if you have having relationship problems don't tell your friends your relationship problems because some people don't want to see you happy and nobody will understand why you love a person the way you do except you and i feel like can't nobody change the way you feel about somebody except that person so, and then when you fall out that's when people want to expose all your business or talk about you like people just wait for you to fall out to try to talk bad about you so it's best if you keep your business to yourself and remember that PV might be big but it's very small and information does get around keep your business to yourself y'all do not share stuff with people especially clothes if you let somebody borrow your clothes it's a 95% chance you're not gonna get it back do not share stuff with people like I know you just come to PV and if somebody needs some tape you'd be like oh I got tape or like it's cool being that person that got everything but people don't return the stuff and it'd be annoying having to worry about asking people for your stuff back like I remember last year I let somebody live who lived in my building borrow a plate I literally asked for the plate 30 minutes later and I never got the plate back she was like she gave it to her boyfriend or something and I never got my plate back and then I let somebody borrow like one of my eyeshadow things and I literally had to chase her in her room and I was like can I have my stuff back so that's something real big do not share your stuff with people because you're gonna either have to track people down beg for your stuff back or you're not gonna get it back so it's just best if you keep your stuff to yourself honestly especially clothes 
also want to mention, don't come to PV thinking it's going to be some love and basketball, stump the yard <laughs> type based up because it's not. Some people got the mindset that they want to be free and they want to do them and they don't want to be held down. So don't think you're just going to find your bae and be booed up and studying all the time. Like it is not like that. It's not no Monica and Quincy where y'all both basketball lovers and life goes on. I mean, if that happened to you, that's cool. But most of the time, college is not no loving basketball type movie. FYI. So if you are a freshman and you attend Panther Camp, that's the first week. That's when you move in the week before everybody else does. And that's when you like fun with your building and everything. And like y'all do challenges, you know, all that cool stuff. I think I talked about it in one of my other videos. You're going to have pals, which are people who, the people who take you everywhere and tell you everything and like train you and all that. And Panther Camp like low-key be tough because you be having to wake up at six o'clock in the morning sometimes sometimes even five it really just depends on what you got planned on the day but do not be rude to your pals that is like the most unnecessary thing because it's like you have to get wake up early your pals have to wake up earlier just to wake y'all up so try not to get them an attitude and be rude because at the end of the day they're here to help you and they've been here longer than you have. No matter if they're only a year older than you. But they know more. And they're just trying to help you. So avoid being rude to pals. I remember some people in my building were just rude for no reason. And like this just people who are trying to help you. Like your pals going to be around for the whole year. They're going to come back to visit you and see you sometime. Don't be rude to them. They're only there to help you. At PV, we use this one app called Cash App. And if you don't have it, I would suggest you download it before you come to PV because that app is used for a lot. Like sometimes when they charge for events, they accept Cash App. Or when you go to parties, they accept Cash App. Cash App is just re really convenient. Like even when your family want to send you money, it's just very convenient. This app is used a lot around PV. So if I was you, I would download that app. Also, when you buy pre-sales, pre-sales are the um, tickets you buy to get in two parties before the actual party. Y'all, them pre-sales is $10. And I used to be like, uh-uh, we gotta pay $10 to go throw some booty on somebody? Like, who for to pay $10? But if you want to go to a party, get your pre-sale. Don't wait till you get there because sometimes, like, maybe 11 11 30 they be taxing you'll pay 15 dollars to get in a party especially during homecoming like if you know you want to go to a party get a pre-sale but also you don't have to go to every party but i'm just letting y'all know if you want to go to a party find somebody buy pre-sale that way you can avoid having to pay at the gate getting there too late and not even getting in waiting in long well you still gonna have to wait in lines but Sometimes they have pre-sale lines, so life is just easier when you have a pre-sale. That way you can get there anytime you want to without having to pay $15 to $20 just to get in a party. So some of you will be getting refund checks this year, and that's um, money back. Now, keep this in mind. Sometimes they mess up and don't charge you for certain things. So you can get a refund check, but they might not have applied your housing fees and subtract that from your refund check so you splurge and thinking you got three thousand dollars when you really were supposed to pay like a thousand dollars out of that to housing but if you get a refund check before you spend it just to make sure you pay for everything i know you might be like no nah, i'm gonna do that this is my money they should have put that on my account but you're gonna have to pay it eventually so just make sure when you get a refund check you do not have any balances and your account is zeroed out that's just a tip and then don't just splurge and go crazy just try to like spend your money wisely and make sure you pay for everything before you splurge so when you start class i said this in my in one of my other videos make sure you like wait maybe a week or two before you buy a book for class because sometimes for your classes you don't always use the book and some teachers just tell you but they like take they do powerpoints and you're able to take notes and use those on tests when you buy books Buy your books online like Amazon, eBay, check because if you buy books from the bookstore, they are much more expensive and you will save a lot more money if you just try to find it online before you buy books at the bookstore. You don't always have to buy your books from the bookstore. Another thing I want to talk about is hustling at college. So you literally could do anything to make money in PV. 
I ain't talking about something strange for a piece of change, but I'm talking about like anything. Like you can do hair, you can do makeup, started selling clothes. Me and my old roommate last year, we even sold funnel cakes and we made like at least $160 within two days just off selling funnel cakes. Now we like added some extra topping, toppings and stuff like these funnel cakes just bomb.com. So it really don't matter what you do and don't be discouraged by it's other people doing the same thing you're doing because that's like saying... It's 50 million donut shops, but do everybody go to the same donut shop? No. People pick and choose who they want to go to at the end of the day. So if that's what you want to do, then do you. Don't let people just be like, I'm the queen of doing this. No one else can do this besides me. No. That's not the case. If you want to do the same thing somebody else do, do it. Because at the end of the day, people are going to pick and choose who they want to go to. So do it. Last final point is do what makes you happy. You know what's best for you and you have your best heart and interest. It's always going to be somebody who try to discourage you for doing something. Somebody try to make you feel bad about this. And you know when you ask people, oh, should I do this? Should I wear this? It's always going to be somebody who's saying no. Just do what makes you happy and don't listen to so many opinions. And like always look for confirmation to do something just do what makes you happy so that completes all my tips that i have for this video i hope this helped you out some more and don't forget to like comment and share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video